Wisdom. 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 The reading is from the book of Acts, chapter 4, verses 1 through 12. While Peter and John were speaking to the people, the priests, the captain of the temple, and the Sadducees came to them, much annoyed because they were teaching the people and proclaiming that in Jesus there is the resurrection of the dead. So they arrested them and put them in custody until the next day, for it was already evening. But many of those who heard the word believed, and they numbered about 5,000. The next day, their rulers, elders, and scribes assembled in Jerusalem with Annas the high priest, Caiaphas, John, and Alexander, and all who were of the, priestly, the high priestly family. And when they had made the prisoners stand in their midst, they inquired, By what power or by what name did you do this? And then Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, said to them, Rulers of the people and elders, if we are questioned today because of a good deed done to someone who was sick and are asked how this man has been healed, let it be known to all of you and to all the people of Israel that this man is standing before you in good health by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead. This Jesus is the stone that was rejected by you, the builders. It has become the cornerstone. There is salvation in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given among mortals by which we must be saved. God always blesses the reading and the hearing, but this is most holy and precious. <laughs> Bishop, we're awful glad to have you here today. Uh, Bishop O is the bishop of our conference since 2000, I think. And uh, usually we don't have a bishop maybe for eight years. And uh, we got a wonderful exemption from the Council of Bishops. I don't know who gave the exemption. The jurisdiction. The jurisdiction did. And we have until 2012. It's, it's a joy uh, and a real honor uh, to have him here. Uh, I want you to get to know him. I want him to get to know you. And uh, I was reading some. Uh, descriptions from the dedication of this church uh, in 1899, this building we're in. And uh, it's, you got some big shoes to fill with. <laughs> there was a market. They used to have news reporters come to these things. And it goes into glowing description about how this Gothic uh, cathedral was a show place in Northwest Ohio. And uh, the people were coming out of the Great Black Swamp. And this this was a great beginning uh, for our for our church and our community. The preacher that day when they dedicated this church was Reverend David Moore, uh, editor of the Western Christian Advocate and a great Christian newspaper. And the, the description of his sermon is that uh, he preached the most powerful and thrilling sermon on the theme, Jesus Christ, the Savior of sinners. The preacher seemed to ascend the loftiest mountain peaks of vision, where from the widely extended and far-reaching horizon, he rose in climax after climax, appealing to the noblest of man's nature and touched the finer sensibilities of all of our beings. Bishop, you've got big shoes to fill. <laughs> Uh, good morning, friends. <laughs> good morning. I want to uh, greet you in the name and spirit of the risen Christ, who is, of course, in the room. Amen. Because whenever we gather as the people of God, we gather in the presence of our risen Lord. Isn't that incredible? Incredible. Well, if I'm going to preach like that, uh, <laughs> I'm probably going to need your help. So do we have some folks who feel comfortable saying amen once in a while? Amen. All right. That's good. That's good. So you'll know when to do that. I won't have to tell you. If you're not doing it, I might just tell you. That's, that's a good place for an amen. I it is Sharon, I'm really delighted to be with you. Uh, this is a wonderful congregation, and uh, to be with you on this uh, memorable occasion when you're celebrating 160 years of ministry 
is this outpost of uh, Northwest Ohio is really, uh, really a joy for us. And uh, Pastor Ben, I want to take a moment just to thank you for the invitation and for your wonderful hospitality that you've already extended. We look forward to an opportunity to uh, gather with many of you following uh, the worship this morning and have some uh, further interaction. Um, I would be remiss if I didn't take a moment and just acknowledge that you are very blessed here at Falling uh, to have an outstanding uh, pastor and uh, and clergy spouse and spouse of Ben and Judy and uh, I know that they have been giving you exceptional spiritual leadership and I just want to thank them for their work and witness and ask you to join me in doing that. As uh, Pastor Ben's already indicated, we've had opportunity to <clears throat> travel together uh, in Greece, and and uh, one of the joys of, of those trips is the opportunity to get to know people a bit better. And and uh, Ben and Judy are just uh, remarkable, uh, remarkable friends uh, and uh, pastoral leaders. I also want to take a moment to thank you for your uh, commitment to the broader connection and the mission of the church. I could spend the rest of the morning. Uh, I won't, but I could spend the rest of the morning just telling you about the many places that your dollars end up when you participate in our connectional stewardship through apportionments. Uh, Char and I were very blessed to be in uh, Vietnam in April, and uh, we had a chance to witness the way that the church is growing. The United Methodist Church is growing. Ten years ago when we were there, uh, all the United Methodists uh, in Vietnam could gather in one little room. Actually, we did gather a little upper room in uh, a restaurant in the back corner uh, while other people were down on the street to make sure that uh, someone's watching for the police uh, so that, you know, if they saw them coming, we could scatter because we knew we'd be arrested if we were gathering. And 10 years later today, uh, we have 160 United Methodist congregations in Vietnam, 12,000 members and 120 pastors. And I was uh, privileged to be in Hanoi to meet with the government officials that oversee religious affairs in the communist country of Vietnam and ask for the formal recognition of the United Methodist Church of Vietnam. That has all happened because of your faithfulness and your dollars to put our missionaries there that have chipped away slowly but faithfully uh, to, uh, to bring uh, this great movement, uh, the United Methodist movement, to, uh, to fruition in Vietnam. And that's happening all over the world. Uh, precisely because uh, when that plate goes by and you say this is for the mission of the church, that's what it's doing. So thank you. Thank you so much for your tremendous uh, outreach and, and your witness. Let's, uh, let's take a moment and uh, pray together and then I'll try to preach like that. <laughs> you, you better pray well because I don't know. That's, that's a hard mark, but, uh, Lord God, what a joy it is to gather in your presence this day and to know that you have called us to this moment. You have brought us, and you brought us here with um, concerns on our hearts. We've lifted those up already to you this morning. You brought us here with expectation and, and joy. You brought us here because uh, you uh, want us to celebrate the way that your people have been faithful in this community for 160 years to bear witness to your name and to lift up your name. Now, Holy God, we pray that as, uh, as we enter fully into your word, that you might speak to us, speak to our hearts, fill them, fill them so full that we might experience the very presence, uh, your very presence within us. Shape us and form us into your image for the sake of your people, for the sake of the world, for the sake of our witness for the next 160. We thank you for all of those saints who have gone before us, whose shoulders we stand on, who provided this building, who provided the foundation upon which uh, we continue to minister. And we ask your continued blessing upon them. And now we offer you our lives in this moment. In the name of the Christ, amen. <laughs> 